Hello everyone, my name is Ashley Beach. I am the author of the faith-based fairy tale series, The Solstice Chronicles, as well as a brand new series coming out called The Heart of God. The last couple weeks, I shared a little bit about my main characters, Sailor Cross and Dylan Kincaid, and this week I wanted to share about another character named Peters. Peters was a dear friend to Sailor's parents when they were younger, and he wasn't a believer when he first met Daniel and Elizabeth Cross, so he kind of has a shared history or similar history to Dylan in the series. Um, but you see kind of this legacy of faith that Elizabeth Cross left behind in his life. Uh, like I said, he wasn't a believer when he first met them and was friends with them. But after they died, he poured into the scriptures that Elizabeth Cross left behind for him. And you just see this transformation take place in his life. And through her death and through the scriptures that he le she left behind, he finally comes to that place where he accepts Christ as his personal savior. And so it's just really cool to see how Elizabeth's faith kind of carried on beyond her death and kind of impacted him even years after she died and years after she had been pouring into him with Christ's love and sharing scriptures with him and praying for him constantly. And it's just a really cool picture to see how... Sometimes we may not see how our lives impact others or see how our words end up planting in their lives or growing in their lives or changing their lives later on. But to just kind of remember, it's not us that's going to save them. Ultimately, it's God. But also have that encouragement that God uses us all the time without us even thinking about it or knowing it. And we are always being an example for Christ. And so the way we live our lives, the way we point people to Christ, the way we share God's love with others is just one of the many ways that God uses us in other people's lives. And I know I have friends or family that don't know Christ as their personal Savior, and I'm sure many of you do too, but just kind of an encouragement not to give up on that, not to give up on praying for them, not to give up on hope on God. Uh, because God can and will use his word in other people's lives in ways that we can never even imagine. And so it's just kind of cool seeing Peter's on the other side of his faith journey in this book and seeing him kind of be like the spiritual mentor and father figure to Selah and Dylan and be that encouragement to them that they need and just be that impact and faith mentor to them as well, just like Elizabeth was in his life. So just an encouragement. I hope all of these stories and characters are encouraging to you.